after everything I said, we're back here with the Steelers and ready for training camp. I think one thing that will help me, though, is I'm the clear alpha on this team. Holmes is still there, and I think that makes everything a little bit more confusing. But like I said, a four-year deal, and I have a chance to be an all-time Steeler. Training camp is finally over, so let's simulate. And honestly, I don't plan on doing much this season. I'm going to be super honest with you. You've seen me play all these games already. So that's the first four. That's the next seven. And the Ravens make it eight. So I'm going to simulate to this Ravens game, and hopefully we're having a good season. I'm not really trying to play that much anymore. We made it to the Ravens game. So I'm going to go look at where we're at as a team and then my stats so we're five and two as always in contention for the division lead and then stats wise i am 430 with two touchdowns so my plan is to continue to simulate i feel like this career will take forever if i don't so I'm going to simulate to January. We made it to the end of the season. Looks like we're going to be playing the Browns here in the first round of the playoffs. So I'm going to simulate that. And we get the win. We're playing the Jaguars. I'm going to simulate that. That's the thing about this team. I, I think we caught the L. But... I feel like every year we do good enough to get to the playoffs. Okay, so I'm not a pro bowler this year, but I'll go check my stats for the season. So individual, I need to put 1,000 yards again, seven touchdowns. That is explosive, but... Yeah, I mean, I topped last year. Four more catches. I don't know how. Like I said, my goal is to try to be one of the all-time Steelers. So, right now, I'm just simulating through to get to that point. I'm not really trying to play. So, not a bad season. I guess we lost in the second round to the Jaguars. So, my next move now is just to simulate to next season. And see if we can continue to climb. I only made what like a couple yard increase, but I don't know, bro. Like I just feel like it's more satisfying to be an all time great stealer. And even after, if I don't get to the twelve thousand yard mark or whatever yard mark that I need to get to to be the greatest per se. I still feel like when I looked at some of the other options that I could have went with, a lot of those other numbers are really untouchable. So we're simulating to next season. Hopefully we could continue to climb. I think this is year seven, to be honest. I was about to say, I don't even know what year we in, but it's training camp time. So I think it's seven, bro. Because... When I signed that deal, it was five. And then last year was six. So it's got to be year seven. But you know me, bro. I'm simulating preseason. I'm a diva like that. All right, we got through that. I'm going to simulate the rest of it. And we're going to see what we have for the first eight games. Like I said, I'm at that point in my career where I'm not trying to play. So that's the first three. And that's the next four. And then we got the Bengals. So I'm going to simulate to the Bengals game. And we're going to see where we at like we normally do. I'm just trying to get to that record. I'm trying to get top three in receiving yards. So I'm already top five in receptions. That's really what my goal is right now. It's not so much as to play. I think I've shown it's going to be hard to play receiver. But I've played and I've shown what I could do. So we're just going to simulate it at this point. We're here at the Bengals game, so I'm going to go and look at what we have done so far. And so far, we are 4-1 and one, as always. 
the lead for the division or at least in the hunt. And then for me, I have 341 yards, two touchdowns. I mean, I don't know. I think I've played eight games and I have 300 yards. That doesn't really sound too great. But like I said, for me personally, I'm ready to get this over with. And I'm only playing very important situations. I already won a Super Bowl. Made a Pro Bowl three times. So we're just simulating to this last game last week. End of the season, basically. I simulated past the Bengal game. But right now, the game is starting to look a little weird. Because right here, I should be able to simulate towards the playoffs and simulate the games. But it's actually forcing me to simulate day by day. So I don't know what to make of that. And right now, I just got to do what the game is allowing me to do, which is simulate day by day. So I'm going to continue to do that. And hopefully, as I simulate here again, I can figure out what's going on with this game. Right now, I'm still simulating. So simulate some more because that's all I have the option to do. We're middle of January. And it looks like the game is saying that we're in week 17 somehow. We should be done with the regular season. We should be middle of the playoffs by now, like second round, I think. But somehow, it's mid-January and it's showing week 17 simulation. So, I'm going to keep simulating. I know I just said that word like 45 times. <laughs> I'm going to keep doing it until it allows me to get back control of the team or at least the season. And it doesn't look like it's allowing me to do that right now. And I wonder, we were, I don't even know if we were a playoff team, but I would think we were. So, what's going on, bro? And now it looks like I finally got back control. Clearly, the game has glitched out. Top of the screen says it's September 2014. Right of the screen says it's February 1st. So I'm going to simulate to the Pro Bowl. That looks like the only thing that might be working. So when I get to it, it looks like we're going to be playing the Eagles for the Super Bowl. I mean, why would it be us versus the Eagles for the Pro Bowl? <laughs> I mean, I'm just using my deductive reasoning and putting two and two together. I guess it's cool that we're both playing and it's like a battle for Pennsylvania, but with that being said, it looks like this game is broken. I am not a game technician, so I have no idea if it's going to fix itself or if I can fix it. With that being said, I need to make the best of this Super Bowl appearance. If we win it, that would be so unrealistic and I've always been the type to make sure we follow what's going on in the real world in a sense but if we don't win it it'll be my last game either way and Pittsburgh ain't playing with us or Pittsburgh <laughs> that's what happens when you end up playing with two teams with a P Philadelphia is not playing with us they scored in the opening minute come on man I'm moving back and forth trying to confuse you. I did a horrible job. But yeah, look like they came to play. That's all I want. I want it to be competitive. Yo, watch out, bro. I'm the kicker to the man. Let's get it. That looks so glitchy. Oh, we out. Yo, why did I just pitch it back, bro? Why am I running option? Why am I running triple option, bro? Don't tell me that this is what this game's about to do to me. Not only is it already glitched out from earlier in the season with everything that went on and it just randomly skipped some games and then it had to make it up at the end. Now when I play the game, I'm just going to be pitching it back, bro. Like I'm playing for Navy or something. Like, come on, man. What the heck? Yo, block. The line ain't blocked. I ain't blocked. I'm like 30 yards down the field, falling, tripping over myself, looking crazy. It's like high school all over again. First game of high school, just falling all over the floor. Just so anxious to be out there, bro. This is crazy. Come on, man. Block somebody, bro. What the? 
That's a good run. We ended up getting seven yards on that. And then here on third down, we gotta throw the ball, but you never know. Why are we running a smash concept, bro? Why? What is that supposed to do? I mean, they have two. I know they changed it. I was about to say, it looks like cover one. Oh, let me get that up top. Oh, let me get that. Yo, why am I keep pitching it back, bro? What's going on, bro? Now you gonna hear me like hitting the control because nah, bro. They just called a 35 yard play for Linus Sweet because I caught it and pitched it back. Bro. What is even the point of me doing all this if I'm gonna just pitch the ball back to, to my teammates and let them get the yards, bro? That's a nice block. That was a crazy block too because how he had the time and ability to hit that crease, he was gone. I wasn't supposed to go over there and block, but that was real smart football. Like right here, bro, if I catch it, I gotta catch it in the end zone. Because if I don't catch it in the end zone, watch me like pitch it back and then call a fumble. I'm calling for it. Oh, I got you. B. Yo, what the f Ben. Ben. That was a touchdown, Ben. Why am I going one way, you throwing it the other, Ben? That was a touchdown. And right now I look dumb because I not only did I pitch it back on the opening kickoff, oh, I didn't block a soul. Bro, barely missed the first down. Yo, I look bad, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I'm looking horrible right now. Of course, we didn't kick the field goal because I don't know if we, as a coaching staff, know what the field goal looked like. We never kicked the field goal, bro. You didn't know how we come. How? Now here we come. We are gonna run dive. First play. Or stretch or whatever it is, and it ain't gonna work. Cause we all blocked, it just didn't matter. Cause, I mean, yo, what are we doing, bro? Now we are running gut. I guess because I flipped the ball back like I don't know how to play football. Acting like it's that, you know how they do on the last play of the game? But, you know how they do in the last play of the game where they try to pitch it back and pitch it across the field? So because I thought we we're going to do that all game, panic mode, oh, this is a stupid way that they're trying to play. Oh, you're burnt. If, oh, he got lucky. I was just about to say, oh, my God. So now Lionel Sweet going to have all the stats. Ben ain't trying to throw to me no more. He already said you want some bull crap. Mm, you want some bull crap. You ain't on the right timing right now let me just not throw you the ball so line is sweet gonna be the mvp of the super bowl i hate when they do this bro just kick the ball man dang let me try to get a block nobody blocked bro they both stopped and both launched that is definitely illegal in this day and age of football the two of them jumped off their feet <laughs> I know I'm taller than them probably but damn the two of them jumped off of their feet and drilled Willie Hawkins it's like you know how when you're a parent and you get home and your kid like runs and jumps into your arms yeah the both of them hit him on each side bro bro these planes ain't working coach hate to sound like a disgruntled player Yo, and then we gonna come with a fullback dive, right? That's gonna trick him. That's really gonna trick him, right? We can't run the ball. Almost every other run, wow. Now you gonna call audible. Well, if I could beat him, cause he has help inside. If I could beat him outside, it's open. Throw it, bro. Why did they decide we gotta get the ball to the fullback no matter what? That's literally what they just did. We got the first down, and we're going ISO because, you know, that's what we do best. But, yeah, why did they decide, yo, we're giving the ball to the fullback no matter what? Because we're supposed to be the fullback dive, then we end up switching and getting out of there, and then we end up saying, you know what? We'll just throw it to the fullback. Yo, there's like the guy blocked all the way, like, 10 yards away on the NFL logo. That's tough. Yo, I need a catch, bro. I had a really nice catch. A clutch catch earlier in the game, and the game cheated me. 
and well not the game the controller it's crazy too because when i went to the store earlier today i almost bought a controller but they were trying to sell me that um oh my gosh bro oh he broke oh he broke he's slow as hell though he is slow as hell i'm pretty sure it's the fullback again but yeah they were trying to sell me a controller and it was like one of the generic ones so i was like nah i'm good bro i'm good on that I'm about to sit here and buy nobody's used generic controller that I could have just bought from Amazon brand new. They were selling it for like $20. And now here I am trying to play the game and because my controller done fell so many times and it's like cracked on the side and cracked on the bottom because of my rage that I play the games with. Come on, man. Oh, that was a nice little move. I ducked under yeah, I think they pissed at me. So just sit me out, bro. You know how I am. Just sit me out there. Like, if you're not going to throw me the ball for the whole rest of the game and everybody else is better than me and all that, whatever you got going on, Ben Roethlisberger, just say, Coach, we good. We all need it. And I don't mind. Because right here, wide open, Ben. Bro, you some bull crap. I was wide open for 25 minutes. And that's what they always do, bro. I feel like they do that every single time. And they're like, oh, well, you wanted the ball. So here you go. I'm going to throw you some bull crap. You threw it out of bounds. It was me one-on-one -on -one with a freaking linebacker. He would have got cut up. But no. So it always comes down to this. I really just like when the clock is actually running. Because that means we're going to be like this in this position where I am right now forever. <laughs> That's literally what it is. If the clock isn't running, they'll probably take like 10 seconds off and then kick it. But like right here, when the clock's running, they're just running all the way down. Can somebody block, bro? Block this dude, bro. Bro, both of them was coming unblocked, bro. Oh, can I hit the edge on them? Yes, I can. That was a good return. I think I got like 10 yards off of that. And I ended up running like 45 yards to get 10 yards. Oh, we going four verts? Bet that. Bet that four verts. I'm very selfish, though. Like, all I know is I want to score, right? But, like I said, I probably can't call for the ball until I'm in the end zone because I'll pitch it back. Oh, let's go. Got him. How did that not complete? That was a touchdown. That was a walk-in touchdown because, remember, my speed is like 90. 7 or 98 or 99, something like that, bro. Which is also crazy because I was a possession receiver. So I don't even know how, what training I started doing in the NFL. Remember, even in the first couple of games, I was breaking big runs. I mean, what are you doing, bro? Every time the pass is like somewhat decent or even like in my direction because that last one bro i should have been able to run under it i don't know why like i said these dudes have no precision with their passing it's like they about to bro it's only when it comes to me because look everybody else can eat everybody else can eat bro everybody else get nice little passes that they just run and hits their fingertips and then catch it like they were taught in fifth grade but me i gotta twirl around spin around if I want to get a catch, it has to be this. And I mean, I might as well get back to my roots because we all know that's the only way I was getting yards at Pittsburgh. And it's the only way I'm getting yards in Pittsburgh. All them deep fades and goals and seams have never been my forte. Let me get that in traffic. Let me get that, bro. In traffic. Yo, watch out, bro. The hell are you standing up over top of me, man? We about to kick the field goal. I don't know why, though, because, look, it's first and goal. Yeah, we kicked the field goal like some punks. It's first and goal, bro. We got all the... Let me get that. Watch out, watch out. I'm about to say, I'm the, I'm the guy that had the 100... Yo, why'd the ball go all the way over there? Look at that glitch. I wonder, man, if we're going to be able to score 
with me though. Cause like I said earlier, I'm very selfish. I'm trying to get in the end zone one last time. But... Yo, look at this receiver. If he just runs a five and out, he should get it. Oh, throw that, throw that, throw that. Bruh, it ain't nothing I could deal with that. He threw it short. And I saw it in the game. I think it was the Packers, bro. These quarterbacks be selling. The dude was running. It was Aaron. He was running to the left. And this man saw him last minute and threw it to the... Oh, he fumbled it. Oh, no, nah, no, nah, face mask. Yo, why the ball keep going like a soccer ball? Bro, Aaron was running to the left. This man threw it to the right. You know how it goes. Commentators and spectators would be like, Oh, he should have caught it. The ball hit his hands. And we learned that in Pee Wee, if the ball hits your hands, you should catch it. But that's bull. Your whole body momentum is going to the left. Just because you're athletic enough and agile enough to reach your hands back to at least try to help the quarterback, that doesn't mean, oh, we wide open, bro. How does that keep happening? This, and, and then a DB does what a DB does. Puts his fist up like he did something. Bro, you ain't do nothing. I'm literally running wide open, and for some reason, we cannot get on the same page, me and Ben Roethlisberger. We just can't. Unless it's a slant or a dig. And I've said that 150 times. Yo, stop celebrating, bro. You playing like crap. That man get up, start throwing the ball, and look at my... He did the Rocky celebration. You know when he runs up the stairs? Just get out of here with that shit, bro. <laughs> I'm still not over the fact you thought you were in the Naval Academy. Oh, that's me. Why did I just dive on the ground, though? All right, look where they got the ball. It's like the 16-yard line, right? Oh, now see? You see how boys started taunting him back? Oh, they scored. They must have threw a bomb because I was just about to say, look that they on the 16-yard line, and they're going to end up punting it to us from that same yard line. But I guess not. The Eagles actually came to play. Come on, man. Kick the ball. Ain't nobody trying to be standing here for 20 minutes. Yo, you know it would be tough? If I could get a kick return and touchdown. Because I don't remember the Super Bowl that we actually won. Watch out, bro. But this is what I'm talking about. Get the hell out the way, whoever the hell you are, Mr. Generic number 88. I don't know no number 88. Get out the way. And I'm sitting here trying to get in position. Why are we doing all these shifts, bro? This is not spread offense time, bro. He broke that. Oh, how did he break that tackle, bro? Whoever that big dude was had him in the backfield for loss, bro. He said, nah, watch out. You know what's crazy? Now that me and this dude are standing next to each other, I feel like me and Lionel Sleeve are basically the same player. I'm just better. We're the same player. Same height, same build. Yo, how does this keep happening? It's like I'm running forward and he's throwing it to the sideline. Literally, that's what is happening. I'm running straight. He's throwing it to the sideline. Like he's trying to throw a possession catch. And I'm trying to stretch the field. And it's also like he's throwing it to where I was. Get on the ground, bro. Isn't that Brandon Jacobs now running the ball number 27? What I was saying that we got like 15 running backs on this roster. And now we got Mendenhall in there, number 34. We got like 15 running backs, bro. I'm trying to break. Watch this. I'm not running the route they told me to run. Oh my God. Beat. Bruh, how does that keep happening? Yo, run. Get this, you bro. At least I got the tackle. Or I didn't count. And it said Ben Roethlisberger got it. Ben Roethlisberger sucked, bro. He threw it to the other team. And then now I'm getting blamed. Talking about negative eight for an interception. I mean, I did want this team to actually try Philadelphia, so I guess I can't be mad that they are, like, doing what I wanted them to do, which was try. Did they miss? Oh. All right, bro, kickoff time. Watch out, bro. Wherever they kick this to, watch out, bro. That's me. We out. Go block, bro. Oh, we out. Let's go. We out. Oh, we out. Yo, we out, bro. Just like I said, bro, I am the best.
to ever be a kick returner and receiver. I'm the best, bro. Look at that. That was tough. That's how you flip the Super Bowl on his head. It doesn't matter if we're down by three scores or whatever the case is, bro. That's how you do it. And it's crazy we could not watch this. Let me get that. Up top, up top. He got to stop doing that, bro. And then when we do have the chances, I think that's a Sante Samuel got to do. And then when we got the chances, he got to stop throwing it to the sideline, bro. Like... Just throw it to me, not to where I should have been or was or used to be. I was about to say, what are you doing? Like, you're just standing there like a damn Statue of Liberty. Throw the ball. I mean, if that's what you want to do, right? I'm the one that got us all the way down here because I've been putting on. And now you want to get down here and throw some bull crap and throw it to Heath Miller. I mean, who am I to stop you? If you want to lose this game... You want to lose this game. Like, right here, let's go. I'm telling you, I got you, bro. Yo, line this sweet. Get the hell out of here. I don't know my dudes be doing that, and then that's why they be trying to kill us when we catch the ball. Because we always got to celebrate every freaking time we catch it. And it's sad because I feel like with the body, oh, that's touchdown, bro. Bro, he's down. <laughs> we get a touchdown. They had his butt. As soon as that ball was snapped, that man was not getting out on. And right here, I bet you if I do run the route they want me to, I'll be open. I just don't want to run the route. I'd rather run deep. What is this, bro? Gets me killed in the process. That's one of those throws where you throw it out of bounds and call it a day, but no. Nah, that's the one you want to throw up for grabs in the middle of four people so they can just knock me around like a pinball. Over right here, we good. Gosh, what are we doing? That's not going to work. Now we got to kick the field goal. But again, now this is going to be like a 40-yard field goal, so we can't kick that far. How do we get the ball back in their territory? Oh, they turned it over. They turned it over. And of course, we got to run toss left. Get back to our roots. Steelers. Big bad Steelers. You know, they run the ball. They out physical you. It's actually about, about to work. I was about to say, look, it's about to work. I ran all the way across the field and didn't block a soul. <laughs> I know I did. Now I'm running back to the sideline. Yo, coach, I need me a fade ball here in the end zone. I've been putting on, bro. I need some PAB. This ain't gonna work. Well, not for me, it's not. Because I'm the literal last option. I'm the fourth option in this whole freaking dumb play call that they just called. Yo. What are you doing, Ben? It was there for us, man. At least right here is a slant. So, if I get... I know exactly what I'm about to do. I'm going outside. Watch this. I'm about to break this rod off. Watch this, bro. It's a touchdown right here. I'm calling it. Touchdown. Well, not for me, I guess. Yeah, it's a touchdown. I mean, for me. I might as well should have just ran my route because now Heath Miller looking like he did something. Wow. My ankle popped. Heath Miller looking like he did something. He didn't do crap. And then now, I mean, I don't want no damn two-point conversion. The hell's that going to do for my career? Oh, he caught a two-point conversion in the Super Bowl. Man, I don't care about that crap at all. Let's go. Bro, just jumped up high as hell for a two-point conversion. Wow. Beating my chest. I'm down by 10 now because I caught that two-point conversion. So big and so bad. Man, come on, man. Who gives a crap? And then now, if they're smart, the Eagles... They're going to run the clock down. Hopefully they're smart. Nope, they're not that smart. Oh, yeah, they giving me space too. Oh, yeah, watch out. Watch out. I be trying to do stuff too because I feel like if you juke somebody and their hands just miss, they'll face mask you. So I be trying to be smart about that as well. I feel like if you juke them, and they barely graze or miss you, bro, his face mask. 
I you know I'm going deep. I lied. No, yeah, I lied. <laughs> I'm trying to get my catches up. See if I could get. I don't even know because I never really pay attention. I don't know how many yards I have in this game. I'm not even gonna lie to tell you. I have no idea. Zero idea how many yards I have. Oh, that's a good play, but he threw it out of bounds. That was a good idea. Terrible result though. That was a real good idea. I mean, whatever. I'm not gonna sit here and cry about it. I do feel like if you could throw me a slant right here, we'll be able to move the ball. And also, if he throws this right here. Yo, what the? Freaking tip drill, bro. And they gonna say it went off of my hands like it was a horrible throw. Why are we running this on fourth and two? You might as well just run fullback dive and try to trick him. For real, bro. What is this play call? Man, this is a dumb play call. Because, yeah, if I could beat him, it's a good play call. But, oh, he snuck him out behind. I want to say, I need to block some play. Because I didn't block the corner at all. That was a good play call, actually. Having that back coming out of the backfield off of it yeah that was pretty smart but yeah i'm going slant as always right here for the win well not the literal win but you know how they say well what are we doing what what play call was that and what throw was that bro why have me do all that to just throw it up for grabs like, look at the covers that they're playing right now. If I just beat them to the outside, it's touchdown. See, look, bro, I speak too soon. It's like the damn game could hear me. Oh, we out. Yo, we got linebackers just putting their arm out like a space jam, bro. What is this fakery, bro? This sorcery. I hate that about these games. This boy put his arm out like a space jam and knocked the ball down. Like, in what world? Right? Oh, right there, we out. That's a clutch. Cat, what? Yo, they really scamming, bro. At least we got the first down. I don't know what we did, but we got it. And no time came off the clock somehow. This bird needs to go. We got the first. I was just about to say, there is no way I didn't catch the first down. I was running on the line. Oh, yeah. Oh my gosh, that was such smart football by me. That was real smart football, bro. Cause I was hesitating. I was like, I could run that out. That gets them every single time that orbit motion or yeah, just run the slant, bro. You know, you're gonna get the ball. Just a normal trips. So if I don't get it, 89, I'm gonna get it. Oh, we out. Touchdown. I'm sick and tired of everybody else eating though. Like I said earlier, I need a touchdown, bro. Who the hell is number 81? This damn generic dude. They're probably some random dude they drafted. Oh, if I run it out, I should be wide open. I should be wide open. Or also, if Sneed or... I think Heath Miller probably got the out on this route combination. Bruh. Who is number 27? Brandon Jacobs, bro? You got trips and you throw it to the running back out the backfield because you got lucky that one time. Bro, chill out, man. I think I'm the route on this, so I should have scored. All I got to do is go into the end zone. I should be able to score. Bro, passing the fence, bro. Yeah, that's passing the fence, bro. And we kicked the field goal. What are we doing, bro? How do we get the ball back? Yo, how do we get the ball back? What the hell? What just happened, bro? How we even get the ball back, bro? This game is cheating. I'm not mad because I'm trying to score, so I'm not mad at all. Definitely, I'm not mad. This game's cheating, though. Oh, big body. What you talking about, bro? Big body. I gotta have 100 yards. I need a touchdown, though. Big body, boy. What you talking about? Why are we letting the clock run like we don't have all those damn timeouts, though? We still got three timeouts when we letting the clock run. What are we doing?
Yo, Linus Sneeze, hold on to the ball. Because the way he tried to stretch when he was getting tackled made no sense. Yo, what do we... I'm not going to call a timeout. I'm about to say, I'm not the coach. We have all our timeouts, and we just wasted like 25 seconds between this play that we just ran and what we was about to run. Because we let 20 seconds run off before we even ran the play. Come on, man. Throw the ball deep. Now you got, what, first down, which does nothing for us because we need a touchdown. We got 27 seconds left. I don't know why that's like my go-to thing. I ain't going to lie to you, juke right away. How am I not getting the first, bro? They ain't trying to cheat us, bro. As long as I score, that's all that matters on this play, on this series, bro. Bro, don't tell me that's the last play of my career. Ben Roethlisberger throwing the ball to the defense. Yo, time out. Yo, time out. Bro, really? That's how we going to lose it? And somehow we got the ball back. It was like 20 seconds left. And we had, this game is a glitch. We didn't have no timeouts. We had one timeout. Who the hell's good, bro? I thought it was going to be Brady or something. Bro, that was the fakest game I ever seen in my life. Because guess what? The clock didn't make no sense. We threw that pick with like 20 seconds left in the game. Somehow we got to stop to get the ball back. And not only did we do that, bro, it's showing the play by line this need. I'm not trying to see that, bro. I know I never really look at this, but it's my last game. I had nine catches, 105 yards, 11.6. And my longest was 20 yards. And then I don't even know what I'm trying to press. And then kick return, punt return, three for 38 yards, 25 yards was my longest. And then I had two kick returns, 85 yards with a 55-yard long. Ah, oh, man, I'm stressed out. That was my last game. I didn't even know what to press. Like, I don't even know what I'm doing right now, bro. Because just everything is off. And just for those of you that don't know what's going on, this is my last game because the game glitched. And I'm not sure if it would be able to fix. That's why we were playing the Super Bowl during what I clicked to be the Pro Bowl. So I think this is, is this the day? That's the end of the season? Bro, Simmons has ended prematurely. Go to biography, you have a new award, bro. Exit real quick, exit real quick. At this point, there's nothing left to do in this career. So we're gonna take a trip down memory lane and just appreciate it for what it was. I mean, that's all you can do at this point. So the first thing you're going to see is he made the Pro Bowl in 2008 as a returner. Again in 2010 as a returner. He made it in 2012 as a wide receiver. He actually won wide receiver of the year and made his first all-pro team. He made it again in 2014, but we don't know if he made it as a receiver or a returner because of how things went down. Maybe if we look at the stats, we'll be able to tell. His career best. 90 catches in 2010, 12.6 average in 2014, 10.46 in 2014 in terms of yards, 12 touchdowns in 2014. And as you can see, he was going up. It was an upwards trajectory in terms of his career, starting off as a third round pick and only being 30 years old with so much more left to give. In terms of contracts, his first contract was two years 10.14 million, 1.72 signing bonus. Then his second contract was three years, 17.88 million, 3.75 signing bonus. And then his last contract that you see here, four years, 30.18 million, 7.4 signing bonus. If you do the math, excluding the last two years that he won't be able to play, he ended up earning 40.12 million for his career. So that's not bad for a seven year career. To end up coming away with, what, like six point something? Or, no, 
My math is horrible. It's like five point something, just right under six million a year for his career. You know, when you look at his stats, he started off as a possession receiver, but you see his speed and agility and everything improved. Obviously, when you get to the NFL and you have elite training, that's what happens. So when you look at it, he's never missed a game. And not only was that as a receiver, but that was also as a returner. So there has to be some type of respect for that as well. When you look at receptions, he had 582, which was good enough for third all-time in Steeler history. He had 6,417 yards, good enough for fifth all-time in Steeler history. His average was 11, which was not great at all. Touchdowns, 57, good enough for fourth all-time in Steeler history. His longest was 79 yards. And I'm not going to sit here and say it wasn't a great year or career as a receiver, but it was great for being top five in every Steeler category. He'll be remembered as one of the better Steeler receivers, not as one of the better NFL receivers all time, and it's just because of longevity. So when you look at punt return, his average was 13.1. He had 193 punts returned, which was second in Steeler history. He had 2,467 yards, which was first in Steeler history. One touchdown, which was tied for sixth, and it probably came on his longest return, which was 61 yards. I almost said run. Kick return, he had an average of 25. He had 271 kick returns, which was first in Steeler history. He had 6,824 yards, which was first in Steeler history. He had eight touchdowns, which was first in Steeler history and actually tied for second all-time in NFL history. His longest was 104. So, like I said earlier, he was one of the better receivers that was also a returner because, you know, sometimes it never really translated. If we do the math, he had 9,291 total return yards, which was good enough for 13th in NFL history. And if you put those numbers together, 9,000, return yards, and then 6,000 receiving yards, almost said receptions, (laughs) receiving yards. He had over 15,000 yards in his career. And if you add the touchdowns together, he had 66 touchdowns in his career. So I do think that was a good career. I do feel kind of sorry or sad that it had to be cut short because I do believe He would have definitely been one of the better receivers in NFL history, really. I mean, I don't know. I do think his yards per catch kind of held him back a little bit, but he made a little bit of money, played in a lot of meaningful games, as you just saw, and ended in the Super Bowl, and he won a Super Bowl. So, I mean, you can only hope, or not hope, wonder, actually. That's the better word what his career would have been like. Now we're going to see the uh, agent, and we're going to have to announce his retirement. And obviously, you've retired from the NFL despite your hard work. You have not met the high standards required for a spot in the Hall of Fame. However, you will always be able to say that you were once an NFL superstar, and he was. For those seven years, every year he improved, won a Super Bowl, Almost every year they were in the playoffs, competing for a Super Bowl. So, And he was a big part of it and only getting better. So for me, I'm surprised it says his ego was even killed because I know he used to say some wild stuff. <laughs> and then you see 64%. I do think if he was able to finish out his contract, at least with the Steelers, he would have only been going into age 33 season and... I mean, he could have probably been at like 80% if everything went right with that same trajectory. And I do think he would have been a Hall of Famer. And remember at first I said his goal was to be like the next Calvin Johnson. Well, I think he kind of did follow that mold because he had to retire early. And I would say instead of the computer game glitch, I would say it's because of a heart murmur, something that you really just can't play through. And that's just a little bit more understanding then, oh, well, I'm Calvin Johnson and I don't want to play anymore because I keep losing or Barry Sanders, you know what I mean? 
So I do wonder what if this will be one of those big what ifs because there's nothing I can do. There's no way to continue the career. The game is glitched out. And I do think I had a lot of fun. I was always complaining because of Ben Roethlisberger and having to run routes and never get the ball. But, I mean, it was a great career in terms of all that he was able to accomplish. Because look at that. If you played seven years and you end up with 15,000 yards, that means you had, what, 2,000 and change every single year. So that is a great career. I mean, but I'll let you decide. And there it goes, the end to another video for all of you 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 all of you